Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because we are filming like part two to our Disneyland haul. We just filmed our Disneyland 60th anniversary Diamond Celebration merchandise haul. This one is going to be like generic all the time, everyday park merchandise from throughout the parks. I feel like we had more 60th anniversary stuff than what we do generic stuff, so this video should be shorter than that last one. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, I'm still really, really excited to share some of these items with you. Um, some of them were gifts, so um, I'll be sure to mention those as well. And in the last video, we talked about... Um, I, this might seem like a lot of stuff, but we are annual pass holders, which means that we do get a discount on the merchandise that we purchase within the parks. So just keep that in mind when we are showing you these items that we do have a discount on all these. We do not pay uh, full price pretty much. So um, I don't think I'm much more to tell you, except if you did not watch that last video, my mom is going to be <laughs> in this video as well, helping me haul some of these items because some of these are hers and she has some of the same items that I have. Um, but yeah, and we're also in our scrapbook room, our scrapbook craft room, and it is all Disney themed so that's really exciting it's a little different than yeah. just filming in the kitchen or my bedroom like always it's a little bit different you know scenery for once <laughs> <laughs> scenery change um, but I don't think I have much more to tell you at the beginning of this video so without further ado let's just get into our Disneyland haul video <laughs> oops <laughs> so we're going to start off with some of the pins that we have picked up um, from the parks and uh, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first you can go first okay I'll go first <laughs> um, so this first one I don't I think I was the only one that picked up this one right mm -hmm. okay so I was the only one in the family to pick up this one but I thought it was really really cute um, it's just a Mickey head cut out with the castle in the middle Mickey standing in front the ears have like glittery little stars and then it says Disneyland Resort right at the bottom of Mickey so that's what that one looks like and this one is the yellow um, little yellow bracket or whatever you want to call it and then this next one is one of my favorites and I wish they would have had another one that would match it um, but this one is just the fun little Lumiere pin I wish they would have the Cogsworth one as well but this one is green and then this next one I got kind of for a special reason um, this is the Oswald pin just Oswald all by himself these ones some of these well these last two are just kind of plain and basic <laughs> ones, but this Oswald, Oswald one has a like meaning behind it. So last year on my birthday, we were literally just standing in California Adventure and this cast member walks over and was like, hey, so a friend of mine is going to be coming out soon to take some pictures. Would you want to escort him out here? And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and he goes, okay, Oswald's going to be out here to take pictures in like, I don't know, like 15 or 10 minutes or so. So just wait right here and once he comes out, you could walk him to a spot and you and your you know family can take pictures and then you guys can kind of start like the picture line. And I was like, wow, that was like so cool. So I had to get an Oswald pin just to kind of commemorate that neat little magical experience that we had at California Adventure. And then the last one that I have to show you is this one that we got to kind of commemorate our uh, Mouseketeer costumes that we wore at the uh, at, um, Mickey's Halloween party last year in the parks. And so we just got this one. one. I think I actually vlogged this one if I'm not mistaken. Might have. Um, but it just has like a pair of Mickey Mouse ears, the classics. And then it just says Disneyland Resort at the bottom. So I thought that one was really neat. And this one was green and Oswald was green as well so yeah those are the four I have to show you and you okay. go ahead <laughs> okay and then um, we went to Dapper Day and even though Disneyland doesn't sponsor Dapper Day mm -hmm. they still usually try and do little things that coincide with whatever day it is so I got this um, pin for all of us this limited edition pin and Daisy and Donald are both dressed kind of um, in dapper wear and it says I think it says spring doesn't it it says Disney Parks 2016 yeah so that one was kind of funny yeah. that's limited edition and those were twelve ninety five. yeah it actually had the price on it yeah but it's really cute because Donald Duck is kind of dressed like a dapper Dan and then um, Daisy is in like her little spring <laughs> fancy dapper wear <laughs> yeah and then also for Dapper Day, oh, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> also for Dapper Day, um, at the expo, which I know um, Lauren vlogged recently, yeah. um, we walked through the expo. There's all kinds of things, but there's also just kind of a head booth that has actually Dapper Day stuff. So um, we did get these little pins. They say Dapper Day. It's oh, just the words. So yeah, hard to see. Very tiny. <laughs> sorry, go ahead and talk. That's okay. Um, and so that was just kind of a fun thing. It's really, you know, kind of... Um, vintage writing and and um, they're just really fun. I'll try and insert a picture <laughs> of these in there like I said in the last one in our 60th anniversary haul we had a bunch of pins as well and the way this focus on this camera works <laughs> it would just be easier to insert a picture yeah. of all of them together than to constantly change it but yeah, yeah these ones are kind of fun they're not really through Disney they're mm -mm. through the dapper people yeah. but they're still really really cute. <laughs> 
Okay, and then finally, we do like to find limited edition pins when we can. And um, at Halloween, yeah. they had this really fun limited edition pin, which we thought they were all out of. Um, and then we just happened to find them at one little store. Um, but here's the pin we got. It's really cute. It's just a Mickey head jack-o'-lantern. And then if you open it up, it's got this really fun... Oops. <laughs> Fun little spider that kind of falls out of the bottom of it. So it's just kind of cute. It's all magnetic, so it holds it together and keeps the little spider in. Yeah. And those were fifteen ninety five each. And we figured we would show you some of the items that were out of season anyway, just in case you wanted to look for them online yeah. or, you know, anything like that. And it so. says Happy Halloween 2015 on the, the inside yeah. of the jack-o'-lantern head. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Yeah. I think they're really fun. <laughs> and so they just kind of <laughs> magnetic closed shut. Yeah. So very fun. I love these. <laughs> I was actually really glad that we found these because we for sure thought that they were sold out. And, yeah, and we don't. Know. We didn't always know that, about the limited edition because a lot of times when they come out, yeah. they come out during the week. So if we're not there, you know, since we don't live down there, we yeah. don't get a lot of the limited edition <laughs> exactly. pins. Exactly. <laughs> so that is all we have for like main Disney pins, and then we'll move on, and then we have some other kind of similar items that we'll yeah. talk about in a little bit. So this last Christmas trip, um, we took my parents with us, and um, a lot of times they'll come out with different gifts, um, purchases with purchases, and we like to take advantage of the of the good ones. And of course, <laughs> we saw these walking all over the park. Everybody, Everybody. that was there had them, and so we got them too. Um, it's just this Mickey and Minnie. It's a tote. It's got a zipper on the top, and it's really, cute, really fun long handles. handles. Yeah, <laughs> and so. Um, so as long as you spend, you know, a certain amount of money, you can get the totes. And so that's kind of what my mom and I did with any of our purchases. And um, got these little totes for each of us. And we thought we would still share this with you, even though it's not Christmas time. We figured if you guys wanted these, you could look for them online somewhere. Yeah. Someone might be selling one. Um, so that's why we were we were like, well, do we include the Halloween pin in the Christmas bag? <laughs> yeah. But we just thought it would be, it could be beneficial to somebody yeah, out there. someone so. might want to find it on it's eBay. It's an extra two minutes of the time of the <laughs> video. So, oh, they're so cute. They really are. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all we have for like the seasonal stuff. Pretty much everything else is like current and in the stores. Yeah. Most part. <laughs> okay, so let's talk mugs because I have some mugs that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Some of them, they're not really new news or anything like that, but I'm glad that I was able to finally buy them and add them to my collection. So this is the first one that I'm going to show you. It looks like this. It's part of the You Are Here collection. And I know that Walt Disney World does these same mugs as well for like all of the different lands that they have. And these ones were each $14.95. And again, my discount also works at Starbucks. So that's also great. But this is just what the Disneyland one looks like. I am obsessed with this one, mostly because it's like pastel colors. And it's so <laughs> fun. So there's like the Matterhorn, the Castle, It's a Small World, the Main Street, or not the Main Street, the Disneyland Railroad train. And then there's also like fireworks and it's just really, really cute. I love like all the colors. Like I said, they're so cute. Mostly the pinks and the baby blues. <laughs> and then the inside of the mug is blue as well. And then it says Starbucks on the side. So um, like I said, it's part of the You Are Here collection. And so they also had one for California Adventure and I ran over to California Adventure, <laughs> California Adventure to pick up that one as well. But I remember sitting in that line to get that and it was like the longest line in my life that day. So let me grab that one. This is the California Adventure one. It says Disney California Adventure and it's got Grizzly River Rapids. There's Cars Land in there, Paradise Pier, the Mickey Fun Wheel, the Carthay Circle Theater restaurant. And it's just it's really fun as well. I mean, the colors aren't really my pastel colors, but I still think that they're really, really cute nonetheless. <laughs> and then the inside is red as well. And it also says Starbucks on the backside. So I think they're great. I think that the price is reasonable, $14.95 for the Disney mugs. I know Disney mugs can kind of range in price. And so for Disney and Starbucks and a kind of a collector's <laughs> item, I think that they are um, very reasonable and kind of have like a little lip right there. And then they stack together very, very nicely. So that is nice and handy. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. I'm obsessed with these little guys and I have a couple more to show you as well. So let's <laughs> move on with those. So this next one, I have one of two and I still need to pick up the other one, but this is what it looks like. Very similar, right? Kind of looks like something we just looked at. Um, but this is the You Are Here mini ornament. And so I picked up the mini You Are Here Disneyland mug ornament. I still need to grab the California Adventure one. I don't know why I didn't just pick it up the day that I bought the actual <laughs> mug, but it's okay. They have them like all the time. So um, here is the little Disneyland one, it's literally the exact same thing, just a miniature version and an ornament. So 
Oh, yes, love these little Starbucks mini ornaments, and I have a couple more as well to share with you. So this one is just the clear Starbucks cup, the little park, Disney Parks Starbucks cup, so you have the little Starbucks logo there. Let me see if I can... No, I can't really turn it. <laughs> and then on the other side, it just says Disney Parks. It's kind of difficult. Um, oops, one second. Okay, back back to what we were doing. So I can't. I don't think you can really see. I'm gonna try and take a better picture, um, just because it's really dark and you can't really see what's on there. But it it says Disney Parks, and then it has like all the little um, icons that they have on the normal paper Starbucks cups when you buy Starbucks in the parks. There's like Mickey, the Sorcerer's Hat. Uh, Sorcerer Mickey's hat, Tinkerbell, Carousel Horse, Pluto, is the castle, a, Mickey ears, is that Jiminy Cricket, Jiminy Cricket, <laughs> Minnie Mouse, a crown, and then Mickey heads as well. So that's what's on this little guy. And this one's also an ornament. It has a really cute little green baby straw as well. And then the other one that I got was the small ceramic Disney Parks mug um, that looks like a coffee cup. <laughs> Like what you would get at Starbucks and Disneyland, just the hot beverage version. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually what is also on the other one as well. This is the same design. It says Disney Parks, and then it has all those little icons that I just named off as well. I should have just shown this one first yeah. because you can see it a lot better. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what that one looks like. And then again, it just says Starbucks on the side, and it has the little Starbucks logo, and then it just hangs on your tray. So <laughs> I had to pick up these little guys. Um, they're a little cl too close <laughs> in price to the large ones. The small You Are Here mug does not say a price but I remember thinking that it was like very similarly priced to the large yeah. full-size one um, and then this little one does not have a price on it either and then this one is $12.95 so I'm assuming this must have been yeah. $12.95 as well okay so that is all, all I have for these small ones let's move on to my last two mug cups <laughs> <laughs> so just like the ornament I just showed I have the full size of the Disney Parks Starbucks tumbler cup and I love this so much I love that the straw is like bent I don't know why I think that's so funny um, but again it just has that same print that they have on the cups that you buy when you're actually in the parks and then the Starbucks logo and the word Starbucks on the side so I on the side so I do have the full size this is a Trenta size cup and I love this one and this one was $19.95 from Starbucks inside Disneyland and I have one more as well so my final and last cup mug thing that I bought from <laughs> Disneyland is the actual ceramic hot beverage Starbucks Disney Parks mug and so again this is that same design that I was talking about I should have started with this one <laughs> and this size so you'd understand what the smaller ones looked like um, but it just says Disney Parks like I said and it has all of those icons that I named off earlier I feel like I'm repeating myself um, and then it has the same like little markings on the side so when you do take this to a Starbucks outside of Disneyland they can still mark what your order is on the side and then it has the Starbucks logo on the top and then the lid just says Starbucks as well so yeah I don't know I love this little guy and this one was $19.95 as well so I'm so obsessed with my Disneyland or Disney Parks Starbucks cups so much. <laughs> I know they're just cups, but they're so fun and they just make me happy because I feel like I'm drinking a drink from Starbucks even yeah. though I'm in denial and I'm at home, you know, doing work. So <laughs> anyway, I love these mugs and that's pretty much all of the like actual mugs for this video. I do have two other items that you'll see. I'll talk about them in a little bit. <laughs> I know in the last video I told you that I really like to buy frames because you know it's something that we can keep out all the time and enjoy our memories of our mm -hmm. trips. Um, and so the last on our last trip they had this frame. Oh that glare. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> if I do it that, that glare, way. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of an all-inclusive um, Disneyland. Um, it has the Disneyland castle and then it has characters um, from several different movies. And I just thought it was really fun. Yeah. I'm like trying my best to show every different, <laughs> yeah, like inch of this. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. You're better at that. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> and they were, it was $14.95. So yeah. I thought that was a pretty good price. It is. It's fun. So there's lots of fun little different characters all over this thing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it was very cute. <laughs> Do you know what store you got this at? Um, I got it at the photo store on Main Street, oh, okay. which is down by Plaza Inn. The photo supply. Yeah, yeah. the photo supply. Um, but I'm sure a lot of the stores carried yeah. it. Emporium, even even probably World, World of, of Disney. Disney. Mm-hmm. Very fun. <laughs> so this next item I picked up for myself a little while ago, but I know that they still carry them in the parks because I actually had them in my last vlog. And this one was a splurge. It was $16.95, but again, the discount. Um, and this is just what it looks like in the packaging. It might be a little confusing from there, but it is a salt and pepper shaker, and it is Rapunzel's Castle 
and hair. Let me see if I can get it out really quickly to show you what it's actually. So this is just what it actually looks like. It stacks together. It's got like a little magnet and it stacks together. So there's the salt and pepper shakers at the top and then it stands and stacks on top of each other. But it just looks like Rapunzel's castle and her hair coming out of it. It's very cute, very fun. I'm trying not to like knock the top off. That would be my <laughs> luck. Um, but I still think it's really, really cute. I think this will be fun kind of... <laughs> kind of sitting out and displayed in my future kitchen and all that stuff but I just love it I think it's so fun very very cute they've got a lot of cute salt and pepper mm -hmm. shakers and I know you have one to show as well but yeah yeah very very neat so let me <laughs> so I'll get that back in there <laughs> so the next one I'm kind of a copycat and uh, my, my other daughter Kaylin got one of these as a gift and I thought it was so fun yeah. that I thought I needed one so this one is just um it's a Dumbo like from the Dumbo flying elephant ride and Minnie and Mickey are the salt and pepper shakers mm -hmm. and so they um the Dumbo has the magnets and the Mickey and Minnie magnet into the Dumbo ride as if they yeah. were riding it. And <laughs> they are just as adorable or cuter outside of yeah, the packaging really there. Are. It's, you know, full ceramic pieces and the two Mickey and Minnie just sit right inside yeah, the ride. They're <laughs> so cute. If you can kind of see there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, I really think I want one of these now. They're so cute. Oh yeah. Like how adorable is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. And they, like she said, they also have magnets on the bottom and they just kind of magnet inside the Dumbo. So that is just... <laughs> did you already say the price of that or no? Um, no, I hadn't. I think, I think they're nineteen ninety five or twenty four ninety five. Okay. Yeah, the price is not on this. Oh, dang it. I think they were nineteen ninety five or twenty four ninety five. Okay. That's right. Yeah, yours terrible. was what, sixteen ninety five? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. For sure. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> I'm going to copy you now. Yeah. <laughs> so in my last and very first Disneyland haul, I showed these items right here. I showed you guys my Flo's V8 mug that I got from Cardsland, and I had the little oven mitts and pot holders, and they have the little Flo's V8 um, little logo all over them. And so I talked about I still needed the matching apron. They had, had gone out of stock, and they weren't sure when they were going to get them back in, but my sister really wanted to get this for me for Christmas, and so this was one of my gifts. She found it in the parks. I had no idea she even went over there to go buy it, to be honest. Um, but they finally came back in stock. And so this is just what it looks like. And if you did not know, if you don't watch my like regular home decor hauls and stuff like that, a lot of my, well, all of my <laughs> decor pretty much is like pink and Tiffany blue and white and gold and all that stuff. Um, so these ones are like my main colors. This is like a true Tiffany blue and baby pink color um, on this apron. Those are like the colors of Flo's V8 Cafe. But this is just what the apron looks like. And then it has a little flow car right down here and then over here it's got the flows v8 cafe logo kind of embroidered on so oh my god it's just so cute with the ruffles all the way around it very very fun sorry i'm like <laughs> okay. about to hit you in the face but it's <laughs> so cute and so my sister got this for me for christmas and they still have them because i saw them the last time and she left the price tag on as well <laughs> you guys are naughty for leaving some of these price tags like, oh this one was 26.95 so I don't know. I still really, really love it. I'm glad they came back in stock, and I just think it's so cute with the little little logo at the bottom <laughs> and then Flo on the other side. Just so adorable. Yeah. So love that, and I'm very, very grateful that my sister picked this up for me. <laughs> so these next items we bought at the Dapper Day Expo on our last trip. I vlogged a little bit inside the expo, but I did not vlog a bunch of booths. <laughs> this one, mostly because there were people everywhere. And I really wanted to share these with you because I think they're so adorable and so affordable as well. I actually contacted the seller that makes these on Etsy, and she is going to be giving us a discount code if you guys want to buy some of these items from her Etsy shop because I thought it was great. You can't really find things like this on the Disneyland website yeah. unless you or you know other items similar in the park so I thought it'd be great to see if we can get a little discount for you guys and that way you guys can buy a bunch of these adorable fun little items so um, they're kind of Disney inspired and Disney you know ish so I'm gonna show you my <laughs> stuff first and then you bought some items and then my sister bought some that you'll be showing yeah. as well so yeah. okay we'll start with mine so I'm gonna leave her Etsy shop down below I'm gonna leave the discount code down below and I'm gonna leave all of that other information that you'll need to know down there as far as like when the coupon code expires and all that stuff as well so we'll start with this one as well let me see if I can get that no that completely washes them out mm. okay I'm gonna insert pictures but basically this is a pair of you know what maybe if I hold it like that what focus no okay anyway <laughs> these are earrings and they are baby pink 
Mickey Mouse macaroon earrings. That's a mouthful, by the way. <laughs> um, but they look like little Mickey Mouse like macaroons. And so I'll probably insert a clip, probably a video clip of these just to show like the actual color and like the true beauty of them. But they're so fun and adorable. <laughs> and then the next ones I picked up were these ones. And these ones are also macaroons, but they also have uh, Minnie Mouse ears and a red and white polka dotted bow at the top. And these ones are so cute. Like I said, like who doesn't want a pink macaroon at Minnie Mouse <laughs> yeah. earrings? I mean, they were so fun. And then the next pair I picked up were these really Really fun blue diamond ones and they have the Disneyland castle sort of on the inside to celebrate the 60th anniversary and so like I said I will include these all in kind of like a little video clip so you can see like a close-up version of these more so than just like a picture because I think a video clip would do them a lot you know a lot more justice <laughs> than that but then I picked up some of her pins that she had as well and so this is like a giant larger version of those earrings I was just showing it's the pink macaroon with the Minnie Mouse ears and red polka dotted bow on top and so this is just a a pin that looks like this and I just thought it was so fun and adorable and so cute I literally fell in love with all of these little macaroon items and then this one is just a like little seashell and it says I'm really a mermaid which I thought was so fun and adorable as well so it's just light pink and hot pink and some bubbles on there as well so I'm gonna include all of that stuff in the clip and then do you want to share your stuff first yeah. okay so the first pair are Kaylin's little macaroons that are like Lauren's but yeah. they are a brighter pink color. You can kind of see them a little bit better than yeah, the white Yeah, you can. You can see the white. Um, you can see the white in the middle and the little bright pink Mickeys. Yeah. So there's the, the baby little. pink ones were just kind of washed out. <laughs> yeah, they're very cute. And then she got this little um, Minnie Mouse macaroon pin and it's a green color with the Mickey Mouse ears and a pink bow. So very <laughs> so cute. So cute. <laughs> the bow is like a pink with white polka dots. Yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> Let's see if you can see that better. Oh, so cute. So instead of just doing the macaroon earrings like the girls did, mm -hmm. I found some really fun um, movie-inspired earrings. And the this pair here is Peter Pan and Wendy. And the fun thing about this is that one year for Halloween, um, yeah. Scott and I were Peter Pan and Wendy. Scott's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should Her say husband. That. <laughs> and the girls were Tinker Bell and Tiger Lily. Yeah. So these were just kind of fun. I thought that would, you know, just kind of be a fun yeah. memory. So it's kind of cool because, like, when you wear them, it looks like they're kissing each other on <laughs> each ear. So there's, like, Peter Pan and Wendy. We'll kind of turn that there. And then Peter Pan's like, <laughs> and Wendy's like, so it's really, really cute. It looks fun when you have them in both ears correctly. My favorite character is Marie from Aristocats. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I just fell in love with these earrings, and I thought they would be really fun. They're um, just kind of cloth like the Peter Pan and Wendy, um, except they have Marie on them. They're and they're so pink. Cute. They're so fun. <laughs> I'll include all of these in that clip, and I'll yeah. insert it right now. <laughs> so you can see what they all look like better and closer and high yeah. definition. <laughs> and then I just... Oh, you have two more things. I'll wait until after she shows these. <laughs> well, they're oh, they're the same. They're the same as the girls. <laughs> I got the little the little macaroon pins, the pink one and the green one. They're so cute. <laughs> Yeah. I think we bought out the macaroon stuff that she'd have. Probably. <laughs> um, but anyway, the owner of the shop, her name is Melanie, and so I'm going to list her Etsy shop, the discount code, um, and the end of the discount code, all that stuff down below for you guys, because I think that you guys would really, really enjoy these items. I think they're yeah. fun, they're cute, they're affordable, they're just so adorable, great quality, and all that fun stuff. And so again, she did not reach out to me at all. I stopped by her booth at the Dapper Day Expo, and then afterwards I contacted her for yeah. a discount code for this video for you guys. So, yeah. okay. So that's that is all we have from her little Etsy boutique and boutique from the Dapper Day Expo. We're yes. going to move back into the rest of the stuff from Disneyland. So this next item kind of comes in two separate parts, but I posted on my Instagram on November 12, 2014. I posted this picture and I had finally picked up my chip mug and my Lumiere like little figurine thing that I got from Disneyland. So let me grab those really quickly and I can show you what they look like in person. So this is what the actual chip mug looks like that you can buy inside Disneyland. When I first found this, it was so hard to track these down. Now they're like everywhere in Disneyland. So they're very easy to find. And I left the price tag on. It's still $18.90 or it was $18. $18.95 <laughs> and it just looks like it like it has like an actual chip like the chip mug so fun and adorable so that is that and then to go with it I picked up the Lumiere figuring as well figuring as well and I know I've talked about this a couple times but I really want to have a Disney themed room in my house in the future and so I thought this would look so cute in there and it turns on let me show you there we go. Uh, so that's what it looks like. His little candlesticks kind of glow and flicker. And I just thought he was so adorable. And then a year later, they finally came out with the best part. Let me show you this guy. 
So like I said, the best part about it is that I now have the full completer set. A year after I posted that picture, Disney came out with the Cogsworth clock that actually moves and then you can put batteries in the back right there. And so that's what this fun little Cogsworth clock looks like. And so I was so excited. I bought this last October, last Halloween during our Halloween trip, um, but they still have them. So that's really, really exciting. So I just thought that they looked so fun and adorable and cute. I mean, look at the dream team, right? <laughs> You guys know I love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of my favorite Disney movies and a lot of my decor is inspired by Disney and Beauty and the Beast and all that stuff. And so I thought I had to have these guys for my eventual Disney room. They're so cute. And this guy is heavy. Like these items are really well made. They are on the pricey side. Um, the Cogsworth clock I spent a pretty penny on. This one was $74.95. And then I don't know if I still have the price tag on Lumiere. I don't, but I know that one was like around $60, I yeah. believe. If I'm not mistaken. So Cogsworth was a little bit more expensive, but I mean, come on. <laughs> and again, again, like I said, I do have my annual pass discount that I get with it. So it makes it a little bit more easier to buy. So, so fun and so precious. And I'm <laughs> precious and I'm obsessed with these guys and I can't wait to eventually use them in my decorating one day. So really exciting. Yes. <laughs> so this next and final item was an item that we picked up on our Easter trip this year, on our spring trip. My mom actually found them. And a lot of you guys have been asking about these because I've been wearing them <laughs> in like all of our Disney vlogs. But this is just what they look like. They are new Mickey Mouse earrings that we found inside the parks in one of the little jewelry shops. And so my mom found three sets of these. And so she grabbed them for all of us because she kind of <laughs> wanted like a new pair since we had had those other ones for quite a while. Yeah. And they were getting kind of old. So we've got these new large <laughs> diamond huge mickey mouse earrings they're so fun they just kind of jumped out at me yeah it's at the little jewelry shop the same one um where they no actually it's the no. one next door it's, yeah it's kind of like a little crystal shop and and jewelry shop that's next to the emporium yeah just several of the stores connect on yeah, that side connect. so you kind of get lost so, you're like, <laughs> yeah oh my God, what store is this called <laughs> <laughs> and i just happened to walk in and they just were Right there on the shelf. And there was just like just three, three pairs. Yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> and I haven't seen them since because I've gone in and looked. Because yeah. several people have asked. We'll have to like keep our eyes out for like yeah. in the other stores or something. Yeah, and I want to say they were they were probably fourteen ninety five. Yeah, like they're so big. Yeah. They're so fun. <laughs> I love these little guys. <laughs> so this next item I actually posted on my Instagram as well, but this ended up in my Easter basket from the Easter Bunny. <laughs> and I thought it was so fun and I really wanted to share it with you guys. It is a book and it says Disneyland from Once Upon a Time to Happily Ever After. And it's a soft-sided flimsy book. Like I said, it looks like this and it was only $7.95. It's printed on the back. And then it's got some really, really great pictures and fun history facts within it. I think it is so so neat and so affordable as well like the price is very very affordable and there's just all these different little facts about you know what it used to be what it looks like now kind of stuff so I love those kinds of pictures I think they're really interesting I'm very fascinated by Disneyland history and I always have been every time we would do like book reports in school I would always do my book reports on like Walt Disney or books about Disneyland or anything like that so I I really interested in the history of Disneyland and all that stuff. So I love my Disney books. I love collecting Disney books and all that stuff. And my mom knew that. And so for my birthday, hold on one second, let me set that down. So for my birthday this year, my mom got me some really, really adorable books that I love so much. So this first one is Walt Disney Drawn from Imagination. And it's just a book all about Walt, Walt Disney and his animations and all of his characters like Mickey and even Steamboat Willie and all that stuff. So it's like an actual reading book. It's not so much like a picture book, even though there are some pictures and like little drawings in here as well. And so this I know you found at World of Disney. World of Disney. She got this one at World of Disney. If you're interested, the author is Bill Scolone. S-C-O-L-L-O-N. Scolone. Scolone. <laughs> so the cover is great. I'm really excited to read this some sometime soon. <laughs> So my mom also bought me this book for my birthday as well. It is The Night Before Christmas, written and illustrated by Tim Burton from the World of Disney Store as well. So this is just what it looks like. It's got great illustrations in here. It's so fun. And like I said, I want to do like a Disney room eventually. So I thought it'd be great to have a bunch of different Disney books in a big display or something like that. And so this is a little tricky to show you. <laughs> but there you go. There's a great picture. Like kind of an iconic shot, actually. <laughs> so it was so great. And I love these. So thanks, mom. Yeah. <laughs> but 
I love these books. She knows I love books, and especially Disney books. So these are very special. And there was something about this Nightmare Before Christmas book that I thought would be really, really fun. And I could also pull this out during, like, Halloween and stuff yeah. to decorate with this as well. So, <laughs> so neat. And she also got me a t-shirt as well from World of Disney. <laughs> and so then this is just the shirt that my parents got me for my birthday. It says Disneyland Resort. It just has, like, a little cartoon drawing of the castle with Minnie and Mickey on either side. And I just fell in love with this <laughs> fun shirt. It's really neat. It's kind of different than, like, the normal shirts that you see inside the parks and throughout, you know, all the stores and whatnot. But it is a three-quarter length sleeve shirt as well. And I just, I really like this. I think it's very fun. So <laughs> thanks again. <You're> welcome. <laughs> they, like, spoiled me on my birthday. So I don't know. I'm still obsessed with this shirt, and I can't wait to wear it. I have, like, been waiting till we filmed <laughs> to wear it. So very, very fun and so adorable. So I'm obsessed. <laughs> so we've got about two more items until we're done. I have my last item that I'm going to share now, and then my mom has her last item that she'll share in just a minute. But this next item was a gift from my sister. She really wanted to buy me for my birthday in Disneyland this year. And so she wanted me to pick out my like next favorite Alex and Ani bracelet that I really, really wanted. And I fell in love with this one. And this is what it looks like. We got it at the jewelry shop on Main Street on the left side right yeah next to the emporium yeah yeah so it's on the left <laughs> side when you're walking towards the castle we yeah. were like going up and down that day so i was like yeah. all confused um okay so this is just what it looks like it's a it has jiminy cricket wow you're, you can't see that anyway it has jiminy cricket and it says when you wish upon a star and then it has like a little silver mickey head charm up with it as well so that's what it looks like again i'm gonna have to take a picture and insert it just so you can see it a lot better but i fell in love with this bracelet and i thought it would match really really well with my like 60th anniversary alex nani bracelets as well so thank you to my sister kaylin <laughs> i love it so okay that is my last item and then you have one more item so let's grab that item <laughs> so this is my big splurge this year <laughs> um i get like i said i get the frames when we go and um, my mantle is very narrow so yeah. i have to i've been trying to figure out something for my mantle and um this just kind of jumped out at me yeah. <laughs> so here's it's a frame and it's on a pedestal and it just has oh. ooh, <laughs> kind of a vine design around it with little Mickey heads um, yeah. interwoven. And then there's a little castle down here. It's kind of white on white, everything. Yeah. And then there's Mickey heads down here on the base. Um, it was thirty nine ninety five, And I just, it's really heavy. So, but it ha it's very narrow. And so I think it'll be perfect on the mantle. Yeah. I know I showed this in a vlog clip because I was saying how beautiful these frames were when I was like walking <laughs> through the store. So if you watch that video, this will look familiar. <laughs> so yeah, you did pick yeah, that one up towards I the end did. of our trip. So I did. It's exciting. So that is our big <laughs> last finale piece for this. Oh, I love this as well. <laughs> I'm not going to lose it to you no. though. <laughs> So as I was editing back this footage, there was one item that I could not believe that I forgot to put in my haul video. It was sitting right next to me the whole time on the table, but for some reason, it just didn't even dawn on me or, you know, click in my head that that was actually part of my video. <laughs> but if you watched our Christmas Disneyland vlog, you would have seen this already. But I did get a new phone case in Disneyland on that trip. I had just gotten my new phone, like literally less than a week before our trip. <laughs> so when we went down there, I didn't have a case on it, and I did not buy one for that specific reason because I really wanted a case from Disneyland and I had seen this case um, I think on our October Halloween trip and then it just ended up working out that I'd got a new phone and I needed one so it worked out perfectly but basically there's a store in or on downtown Disney that you can do like your own custom cases so you can pick your phone size you can pick the design you want there's like over 300 and something designs or styles or whatever um, and so this is the one that I had to have <laughs> but basically this is just what my case looks like it's like a pastel version of Disneyland. <laughs> a pastel cartoon version of Disneyland. It's so, like, baby cartoons, basically. That's what it looks like to me. But there's, it says Disneyland right here in all different pastel colors, and you have, like, the castle, and you have It's a Small World, Dumbo, Interventions, a Mickey's Premium Bar, um, Electrical Light Parade, there's a Popcorn, Churro, Space Mountain, a Mickey Ear Hat, um, Tinkerbell, uh, an old e-ticket, like, little ticket pass <laughs> and then the mark twin riverboat haunted mansion teacup corn dog jungle cruise boat 
a Mickey Pretzel, a Dole Whip, Harold the Yeti from, from uh, the Matterhorn, Maleficent. I mean, there's so many different details, a Golden Horseshoe. So there's so many fun little pictures on this thing. And like I said, I've had this case for now six months. It is amazing. It's great quality. I look at it every single day and I fall in love with it even more every single day. So I'm just obsessed with this little guy. And if I can remember the store name, I'll put it in the video as well. But yes, I forgot to share with you my amazing new phone case that I'm obsessed with. So it's my little baby. <laughs> and it makes me really happy. It makes me feel like I'm actually in Disneyland when I'm not. And I'm just like doing everyday normal things. So, okay, that is the last and final item that I had to share with you guys. Now I think you can actually close this video out. So that is all we have for today's haul video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said earlier, this one has been long overdue, highly anticipated, all that stuff. But I pretty much touched on everything that they still have in the parks and then the items that you can look for online or something like that. And you know, because they're some of them are from like the seasons and the holidays. <laughs> um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed. I don't think I have much more to tell you. Um, if you want to follow me on any of my social media pages, my Instagram is just at Lauren Nicole Gardner and my Snapchat and Twitter are just at Lauren N Gardner, just that extra N in there to represent my middle initial. So yeah, I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I post new haul videos. I'm going to try and do these Disneyland hauls as regularly, at, regularly as I can. Um, this is a collective accumulative haul haul so <laughs> it's kind of hard because we don't buy like a full hauls worth during one during one trip this has been building up for like a couple a couple trips a lot, yeah so um yeah <laughs> so we're gonna try and do these as often as i can but i know i do vlog all of our disneyland trips and so those are available on my channel as well if you haven't already watched those or if you're not familiar so anyway thank you guys again so so much for watching we really appreciate it and thanks for <laughs> Joining us again in another haul video. Yeah, thank you. It's been fun. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, that is all we have today, and I really hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you all in my next haul video.